Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Open the hood, go inside. The latch is way down here by your left foot. Hood release for the safety is under here. Lift it up. Hood has two positions. There's one here. It also has a service position down here. Push the hood way open. So you don't bump your head into the hood. And remove this plastic cover. There's four 10 millimeter nuts on top. Use a socket extension ratchet to remove them. Get a little shoulder. They're actually a bolt with what looks like a nut on top. They have a little shoulder on them. I'll put these bolts aside so I don't lose them. Lift the plastic cover off the engine. Underneath it are your coils. All four coils can be removed in the same way. Push down on the coil on the connector lock, pull the connector off. There's a 10 millimeter bolt holding the coil to the top of the valve cover. Break that free. Put that aside. Coil pack should lift straight up off the spark plug, out of the valve cover, and out of the head. Spark plug is located down in here. Just make sure the hole is clean and clear of any debris before you remove the spark plug because that will open it up to your cylinder. This one looks nice and clean, no oil or anything. I'm using a 5 spark plug socket. I just have an electrical tape to the extension because the socket is a little bit loose and likes to break free from the extension when it's down in the cylinder. The spark plug socket has a rubber grommet inside here to help hold the spark plug in it. So when you're removing the spark plug, it doesn't fall down. I'm going to go ahead and remove the spark plug, put the socket and extension down here, and feel your way onto the spark plug, and remove it. These don't have a lot of torque on them. Should come right out. Once it's loose, you can take the ratchet off, and then just thread it out by hand. So the grommet inside of this socket lets me pull it out without having it fall down. These plugs are actually in good shape, but we're at the recommended mileage to change it. So I have a new spark plug in the, our socket. You always want to thread spark plugs in by hand. You don't want to cross thread them. This does have an aluminum head. Gently put it down here. Sometimes if you go backwards a little bit, you can actually feel the threads kind of catch and then start to thread it in and just thread it all the way in by hand. No need to use a ratchet for this. It should go in nice and easy. These plugs are already gapped. so We didn't have to gap them. It's as tight as it'll go. Now I can use the torque wrench. This is set to 13 foot-pounds. That will seat the gasket and seal the spark plug. As it clicks, it's all set. Install your new coil pack, push it right down to the opening and onto the spark plug. It'll slide right into place, reinstall the bolt. The torque is 7.8 foot-pounds, it's very light. I'm just going to do it by hand. Once I feel it get tight, I will stop. Just like that. Plug the connector back in. Click when it's locked into place, and I'll just repeat this for the other three. All right, reinstall the plastic cover. Put these shoulder bolts back in.
Just tighten them up. Not too much. You're only holding on the plastic and you don't want to crack the aluminum valve cover. So once you feel them get tight, just stop. Put the prop rod back in its spot. And they're all set. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.